Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here to review two fragrances from the House of Happy Land. First, I want to review Cripple Creek. Now, this is the newest Happy Land release, and I've given it a couple wearings, so I do want to come and talk to you guys about it. And then after that, if you do stick around, I want to discuss Happy Land's Cravat Noir. Cravat Noir has been around for a while, but I do want to talk to you guys about why you need this one from the house. So first of all, let's talk about Cripple Creek. First off, on skin and on paper, you're going to get two very different things. On paper, I was able to pick up the lime. On skin, not so much. But when this hits your skin, and today I got a much boozier experience than last time, but you're going to get a nice dose of bourbon mixed in with caramel. The caramel is going to bring out the sweeter notes in the bourbon. And you're going to get kind of like a rum-soaked oak barrel. So you're going to get that rum, but you're going to get that oak as well. They're really more mixed in than anything else. Off my skin, I also get a little bit of rose. It's a sweet rose, not a jammy rose, and not like a fresh green rose or anything like that. It's just kind of balances it out, gives it a little bit more of like a formal touch, although you can totally wear this casually. But I feel like adding that little bit of rose makes it to where you can also wear it formally. You're definitely going to get a little bit of ambrette and amber. It's a very ambery fragrance to me. A little bit of ambergris. And you know, it's funny because the first time I, I smelled this off skin, I really didn't pick up on it. But today, when I was getting wafts of it in the air, I picked up a little bit of freshness from that ambergris. And it's really, really pleasant. Again, the only note that I really wasn't picking up too much off skin was lime, but I know that that's gonna be different from person to person. You're gonna get muskiness from the musk and also from the ambrette, which kind of has musky aspects. Just because I don't know that ambrette is talked about very much, I'm gonna read you what it's defined as on uh, Fragrantica. It's also called musk mallow and it is sweet, floral, and musky. So that's kind of what you're gonna get there. And again, it's a really boozy fragrance. It's got a nice dose of sweetness and just a touch of freshness that for me makes it wearable. I wanna talk about performance, but I'm not gonna talk too much about performance because it's Happy Land and I don't really get anything that's poor performance. I did three sprays on the neck and one on each forearm today. And I mean, I've been wearing it for maybe nine hours. It's still going pretty strong. I don't have any qualms with performance. It never got overwhelming, um, but people were able to smell me all day and I wanna add a little note. I have a coworker that had COVID a couple months ago and hasn't really been able to smell um, very much since. And today she said she could smell me, which she hasn't been able to smell anything else that I've worn in a while. So, I don't know exactly what that's about, but there's gotta be something in here that even people that aren't having an easy time smelling can smell. So I thought that was pretty cool and interesting and definitely worth bringing up. Again, performance is really good. Really nice sillage bubble, very good projection and longevity as all Happy Land fragrances, really good. Who can wear this? I find this to be really unisex and it's gonna go based off of your skin chemistry. I feel like it is sweet, so if you don't really like sweet fragrances, this may not be for you, but it wasn't too sweet for me. I don't mind sweet fragrances, I just feel like because it had the booziness, I preferred something like this versus something that's just gourmand sweet, because I don't really prefer <laughs> gourmand sweet fragrances. I personally feel like it's completely unisex, but again, it's going to have everything to do with how it meshes with your skin chemistry. Where could you wear this? I feel like this would work as a really nice date night fragrance, evening fragrance. Night out, and when I say night out, I feel like you could wear it to dinner, you could wear it as a club banger if you're still doing that. You could pretty much wear it any time in the evening, and if it's cold, you could wear it pretty much any time during the day. I would say it's a fall and winter fragrance, but I think if you were just to go out on a breezy evening in the spring and summer, you'd be just fine. Maybe avoid it in uh, hot and humid situations, but other than that, I think you could pretty much wear it any time. And I did mention this on Instagram, but within like 10 minutes of being at work, I got a compliment with it and I actually got several of them uh, while wearing this. So it's a really good compliment getter and I think it's gotta be that sweetness in there. Um, and people tend to enjoy boozy fragrances 
unless the booze is very challenging and is not here and I feel like that uh, caramel really balances it out and makes it a people pleasing fragrance. Now, this is one that I think everyone needs to get their nose on because it's really good, but I don't want to neglect Cravat Noir. Now I've talked about this one on Instagram, but I feel like I need to talk about it here because it is a killer. It is his spinoff on Tuxedo. You're gonna get patchouli, you're gonna get vanilla, you're gonna get amber. There's pepper and violet leaves as well, but even though it's not listed, I get benzoin. Let's, uh, let's smell it off a strip real quick. I definitely get benzoin and it's super vanillic and it's it's got like a depth and a richness to it. If you like mustache, if you like tuxedo, if you like anything in that vein, this is so good and so sexy, just to be completely honest. I feel like I love the patchouli in here and I love the vanilla in here and I just love how they combine the peppers perfect. I get that really it's just it's really balanced i feel like the violet leaf is perfect in here everything is super balanced and off of skin it wears so beautifully so it's just going to be something that's rich warm alluring seductive and i honestly get such amazing performance off this one because when i wore this i uh, i actually had a sweater on Every time I wore this, I think I, I had a sweater on. So it was four sprays to the neck. When I'm wearing a sweater, typically I just do four sprays to the neck. One of the times I wore this, after the eight hour mark, I got a compliment from someone who was sitting about, I would say four feet away from me, which I thought was pretty nice. So performance on this one is also killer. Again, the House of Happy Land pretty much only puts out really good performing fragrances. This one to me is super unisex. I mean, again, tuxedo, if I'm not mistaken, is unisex, mustache, unisex, but this is really amped up and just plays really well with the skin. Performance is just a beat. I think it performs better than anything that has this scent profile. Who can wear it? Again, really unisex. I would say that this is a date night banger, formal event wear, and although maybe it's more for fall and winter, I think if you're going to a formal event or on a date night year round, I don't see this being hard to pull off at all. Um, you could wear it on other things, but honestly, this is something that I think you would want to dress up. But if you want to dress it down, you're still going to smell like money, just 100%. Compliment factor on this one. I mean, I just told you, I definitely get compliments with this one. And this is one that I don't go nose wine to. Actually, I didn't. I don't go nose wine to either one of these. Um, and it. It could be because I'm only spraying skin and I'm only putting a couple of sprays on, but it just works really, really well. People like it, I like it, and I really enjoy getting the wafts of it in the air throughout the day. And I can say the same for both of these. That's why I wanted to, rather than just bring you guys Cripple Creek and wait on Cravat Noir, I needed to talk about Cravat Noir because you guys have to try it if you haven't already. The price of these, um, these are 50 mLs and they are $55. However, if you use the code GLAMFINES20, which is active indefinitely, I'm gonna pop it up here and drop it down below, you're gonna save 20% off. So that's something that uh, he actually told me that I could offer you guys today. I don't get any kickbacks, it's just a discount for you guys because he's really nice. So if you wanna pick these up, remember to use that code definitely pick up samples of the other ones i'm gonna keep going through the house because i have more but i really want to devote a little bit of time to these because they're so good if you have any questions drop them down below if you guys have tried these let people know what you think down below as always thank you guys for watching remember to like this video if you liked it be subscribed to my channel hit that notification bell to get notified when i drop a new video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye